shift our attention to Scotland, where pubs and bars in Glasgow and Edinburgh have closed their doors as on Friday as they begin a 16-day closure to contain the spread of the COVID-19 outbreak in the region. Beyond the central belt, pubs, restaurants and cafes will not be able to serve alcohol indoors and can only serve food and non-alcoholic drinks for this 16-day period. However, the eateries will be able to serve alcohol outdoors. Meanwhile, Scottish Minister Sturgeon has said that the government would provide an additional $52 million to support the affected businesses. And many residents have staunchly criticised the government's move of imposing these new restrictions. I think it's completely unnecessary, to be honest. I think that um, bars and restaurants, I think they're one of the safest environments to be in. It's regulated, it's controlled, and it's, people are still going to drink. It's just they're going to do it in places where like, you can't actually see it. So, I mean, I, I think it's just completely unnecessary that they're showing. Scotland has witnessed a steady surge in COVID-19 infections in mid-September. The country reported 1,054 new cases on October 7th. The Central Belt region, which constitutes the biggest cities, have now seen a rise in COVID-19 cases in recent weeks. The areas where all licensed premises will have to close completely, with the exception of hotels for residents, are greater, are in Greater Glasgow and Clyde. Lanarkshire, Forth Valley and a few other regions. The Indo group exercise will also be restricted for some of the infected regions in the belt.